James Stuart, 1st Earl of Moray a member of the House of Stuart as the illegitimate son of King James V, was Regent of Scotland for his half-nephew, the infant King James VI of Scotland, from 1567 until his assassination in 1570. Until 1562 he was known as Lord James, and his title was Lord of Abernethy. Life in Korea Moray was born in about 1531, the most notable of the many illegitimate children of King James V of Scotland. His mother was the king's favourite mistress, Lady Margaret Erskine, daughter of John Erskine, 5th Lord Erskine, and wife of Sir Robert Douglas of Loch Leven. On 31 August 1536 he had a charter of the lands of Tantallon and others. James was appointed prior of St Andrews, Fife, in his youth in 1538. This position supplied his income. As early as May 1553, the imperial ambassador to England, Jean Schaeffer, heard that Mary of Guise planned to make him regent of Scotland in place of James Hamilton, Duke of Chatellerault. On 5 August 1557, Moray, his half-brother Lord Robert, and Lord Home led a raiding party from Edinburgh towards Ford Castle in Northumbria and burnt houses at Fenton before retreating on the approach of an English force led by Henry Percy. James attended the wedding of his legitimate half-sister, Mary, Queen of Scots, in Paris. To fund this trip his mother obtained credit from Timothy Cagnelli, an Italian banker in Edinburgh. James became a supporter of the Scottish Reformation. At Perth in June 1559 he plucked down the images in various churches. An English commentator praised James for his virtue, manhood, valour and stoutness as a leader of the Protestant laws of the congregation. Despite their religious differences, Moray became the chief advisor to his sister, Mary, Queen of Scots, in 1561 after her return from France. She was the only surviving child of his father's marriage to Mary of Guise. Although James disturbed her priest celebrating Mass at Holyrood House in September 1561, she made him Earl of Moray and Earl of Mar the following year. With the earldom came Darnaway Castle with its medieval hall. Notable even then as very fair and large builded, Moray also had a smaller house called Pitlethy near Lucas in Fife, which his father had used. In October 1562, he defeated a rebellion by George Gordon, 4th Earl of Huntley, at the Battle of Corrakey near Aberdeen. Moray opposed the marriage of Mary, Queen of Scots, to Lord Darnley in 1565, and he embarked upon the unsuccessful chase about raid, together with the Earl of Argyll and Clan Hamilton. He was subsequently declared an outlaw and took refuge in England. Returning to Scotland after the murder of David Rizzio, he was pardoned by the Queen. He contrived, however, to be away at the time of Darnley's assassination, and avoided the tangles of the marriage with Bothwell by going to France. The Good Regent Mary abdicated at Loch Leven Castle on 24 July 1567. Moray returned to Edinburgh from France on the 11th of August 1567, escorted from Berwick-upon-Tweed by James Melville of Halhill, with a French ambassador, de Ligny Rolls. William Cecil, the English Secretary of State had arranged his transport from Jep in an English ship. He was appointed Regent of Scotland on the 22nd of August. The appointment was confirmed by Parliament in December, when Mary escaped from Loch Leven on 2 May 1568. The Duke of Chattel Herald and other nobles rallied to her standard, but Moray gathered his allies and defeated her forces at the Battle of Langside, near Glasgow on 13 May 1568. Mary was compelled to flee to England. For this and the subsequent management of the kingdom he secured both civil and ecclesiastical peace, and earned the title of the Good Regent. York Conference In September 1568, Moray chose commissioners and went to York to discuss a treaty with England. 
During this conference he produced the casket letters which were supposed to incriminate Queen Mary and justify his rule in Scotland. It was later said that a plan to assassinate him at North Allerton on his way back had been called off. Military activities Scotland was now in a state of civil war. Moray moved against the supporters of Queen Mary in their southwest homelands with a military expedition in June 1568 called the Raid of Dumfries or Raid of Hodham, the Regent's army and the Royal Artillery was taken to Bigger, where his allies were commanded to muster on 10 June, and on to Dumfries. The army was protected by a scouting party led by Alexander Hume of Manderston. The vanguard was commanded by the Earl of Morton and Lord Hume. Behind was the carriage, the artillery train, followed by Maury himself. The lead of Cessford followed behind, and the army was flanked by the scouting parties of the leads of Merce and Buccleu. Along the way Moray captured houses belonging to supporters of Queen Mary, including Lord Fleming's Bog Hall, Skirling, Crawford, Sanker, Ken Muir, and Hodham where the cannon were deployed, and Annan where he rendezvoused with Lord Scrope the captain of Carlisle Castle to discuss border matters. Scrope estimated the army to number 6,000 men, and returned to Carlisle where he saw Queen Mary's servants play football on 14 June. Moray then took Lochmaben Castle, which the Laird of Drumlanrig was left to hold, and then captured Lockwood and Lockhouse before returning to Edinburgh via Peebles. At Dumfries, a number of Lord Maxwell's supporters surrendered. Moray was responsible for the destruction of Ruther Glen Castle, which he burned to the ground in 1569 in retribution against the Hamiltons for having supported Mary at the Battle of Langside. In June 1569 Moray went to North to Brecon where he accepted hostages sent by the Earl of Huntley. Then at Dunotter Castle he proclaimed that he had repair it in proper person to the North parties of firm purpose and deliberation to reduce sick as a cheese neglect it their duty in time by past. Intending to use Lenny T in moderation, at Aberdeen he held talks with Huntley himself. At Inverness, on 4 June 1569, Moray met the Highland and Island chiefs with the Earls of Caithness and Sutherland and Lord Lovett. His secretary, John Wood, said such a power had seldom been seen there. Moray wrote that the journey is to put down troubles in the North family. On 8 February 1561 halves at Holyrood, Moray married Agnes Keith, daughter of William Keith, 4th Earl Mariscal. The marriage produced three daughters. Elizabeth Stuart, 2nd Countess of Moray, married between 23 January 1580 and 1581 James Stuart, 2nd Earl of Moray, Lady Annabel Stuart, Lady Margaret Stuart, contract for the marriage signed on 27 June 1584 with Francis Hay, 9th Earl of Errol, without issue. Assassination. On Thursday, 19 January 1570, Moray was at Stirling Castle where he had invited the English diplomat Sir Henry Gate, Marshal of Berwick, and the soldier Sir William Drury for dinner in the Great Hall. Later in his bedchamber he told the English visitors he would meet with them and certain Scottish nobles at Edinburgh on Monday or Tuesday to discuss the rendition of English rebels. Moray was troubled by the problem of Dumbarton Castle, which was held against him by supporters of Mary, Queen of Scots. On 21 January, he sent letters to summon Morton, Lindsay and home to the meeting in Edinburgh. Moray was assassinated in Linlithgow on 23 January 1570 by James Hamilton of Bothwell Hall, a supporter of Mary. As Moray was passing in a cavalcade in the main street below, Hamilton fatally wounded him with a carbine shot from a window of his uncle Archbishop Hamilton's house. The belief that a second shot killed Lady Mondegreen, who was in the street watching the cavalcade is an urban myth. It was the first recorded assassination by a firearm. The regent's body was shipped to Leith then taken to Holyrood Abbey. Moray was buried on 14 February 1570 in St. Anthony's Isle at St. Giles, Edinburgh. 
seven earls and lords carried his body, William Kirkcaldy of Grange held his standard, and John Knox preached at the funeral. Knox's own prohibition of funeral sermons was waived for the occasion. Murray's tomb was carved by John Reutel and Murdoch Walker, with a brass engraved by James Gray. His wife, Agnes Keith, was buried inside his tomb when she died in 1588. Moray was succeeded by his eldest daughter and heir, Elizabeth Stuart, second Countess of Moray, whose husband, James Stuart of Dune, acquired the earldom on their marriage. In popular culture, notable media depictions of Moray include Patrick McGowan's portrayal of James Stuart in the 1971 film Mary, Queen of Scots. He also features in Sir Walter Scott's 1820 novel The Monastery.